Hi, Moldy. How are you? Hey there, Josh. What are you doing Good there? Good evening. Good evening, man. It's nice it's to hear amazing. from you again. It's, it's awesome to open a new episode and seeing this, those wonderful colors that you're painting there. It looks like a stone. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's what we are going to paint today. I see you've practiced. You're 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 pro already at, at this kind of uh, of rendering. Wow, it looks awesome. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> so, so what what are you planning for today, mischievous guy? Uh. I don't know. I, I'm I'm planning on looking at what you're doing, <laughs> staring <laughs> with my mouth open, like uh, <laughs> uh, how how is doing that? <laughs> uh, I'm planning on on listening on on the knowledge you have on on drawing uh, crystals, this kind of uh, amazing stones that we have in nature that have wonderful colors and different shifting values. And the light act on it so uh, interestingly. It's uh, I don't know. I'm super curious to see how um, you handle this uh, this this huge challenge. For me, it looks really, really, really hard to to draw. Like to be able to draw um, a crystal from my imagination, exactly like what you're doing right now. But like. You, you've picked the form and you decide it's going to be a crystal and you're just doing it and it looks really great. So yeah, Muli, how, how, how can, what, what, what can you tell me about it? Have you been, have you, have you been uh, like practicing it? Um, right now I'm just like testing the hardware and testing um, the tools we have and I suppose you should know that we are using the basic tools of the software. Like we don't have the the pro or the purchased version of the surface, the the uh, version of the software because uh, mainly because we want you to be able to follow us uh, in our examples, and you will be able to actually learn the fundamentals without. Um, any type of magic with some texture brush or some very um, interesting custom brush. So we're using the very basics, the very basic round brush that you all have. And that's what I was doing until we set up the live. I'm just uh, checking it out, how how it, how it can work together, and it's actually working quite beautiful as I expected. And we can we can dive in. You mentioned about difficulty in in drawing the so uh, crystals vary in shapes in in material, and they have different properties. Like some crystals may be darker in nature, so they will absorb most of the light. And you know, as you know, crystal is a type uh, is a rock essentially. So depending on its form and its weathering from nature, uh, it, it can have different properties. But I think you can break down every stone into three categories and and I think I will write them down here the main properties of every stone is first of all um, how much he uh, opaqueness or absorbed absorbed the light so this will be affecting on how how bright, how uh, the value of the, the stone will be, how light affects on it. Uh, the second property can be 
translucency. I think we will dive in and as we go, as we draw it, as we paint it, we will uh, come. So let's just, I will just erase that layer and I'll create a new one and we can uh, paint together and let's, let's see what we can come up with. Can you turn what I've sketched right now into a crystal? Like a, if can, I imagine like a crown, like a, yeah, it does look like, like looks like a crown, crystal crown. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can bring it to the middle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So wh how, how would you turn it into crystal? Okay, so uh, first of all, the most fundamental thing is to, let's let's carve in, like let's turn this into an interesting shape that we want to draw. So uh, you, you, you talked about crown, so we will take that shape and we'll make it like a very light basic shape that we can uh, come up and make it an interesting so I'm using uh, C, S and I just to, so I will be able to manage my lines and replicate shapes if needed and not, not to create a mess so I'm really controlling my lines right now so right now we have a 2D shape. This is a 2D shape. If I want to make it a 3D shape, then I can add a second layer. I'm imagining like another layer in the background. And this creates my, my 3D. Uh, not, it's, it's still not 3D. It does have a little bit the illusion of 3D but it's still a 2D shapes. After we will break it down where the light comes from, then we will have a 3D shape. So let's imagine just for the sake of learning, let's make it a very simple top light. Like I imagine the light coming from above. And imagine that the light just, let's, move it from here if it's that critical I don't know but I don't want to confuse anyone uh, hmm. how you do it ah okay no layer is locked why is that okay sorry about that and now let's break that in. let's do a mapping and now I want to map out where, just exactly like we done in the previous vi video, where we painted a portrait yeah. that you drew me. So exactly right here, we will do the shapes and now we can carve in like how that crystal is built. So I'm just creating more shapes within the shape, the existing shape. If I like the, the initial design that I came with, I, I, could, I could take this and, and maybe simplify it into a very basic form, but I do like the shape that you created, so I keep going with that. And now I'm just creating more shapes within inside and let's see how it this will turn in and the smaller the shapes that i do the simpler they must be like i cannot do a very complicated shape that is very small we have that complicated shape if you take the outline the, the silhouette of that shape it's very complicated it's very it, it has a lot of um um, entrance and, and outwards, like it, it's very expressive in space. So a big shape can be very complicated and a small shape must be very simple. And with that logic, we continue a correction here. Maybe I will do something like that. 
and I have I have right now the the where is what in the light and what in the shadow. So um, now we can bring uh, one of the red ferns because it's a crown. We can, of course, it would be very logic to go with the golden brown. Let's rename that. Uh, I will go with the golden brown. So I'm going. I'm starting with something that is very fairly gray, like very in the middle, not too saturated. We will build colors on top of it. Okay. So uh, we can we can wash the color just like we done in uh, a watercolor. So I can really make a wash of colors it's uh, by the way if you didn't notice by now um, we we painted the background in, in natural neutral gray so we have a 50 yeah. percent gray in the background this is a good start to start paint and not painting on white uh, you know from from a lot of reasons it's like uh, when you paint from white, it's like you start painting your drawing when you're looking at the sun. <laughs> you're blinded. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. You're very bl blinded by um, the intensity of that white screen, uh, that pure white of the screen. It's it's awful. It's uh, harsh. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're adding some more like uh, saturation to it. Or, uh, uh, or a bit actually, it's, it's it's still the the I just sampled what the color that I had. Uh, it's just a second layer because I have some opacity. Uh, yeah, it does look like more saturated. Mm -hmm. And maybe I can do something like that. We'll see how it uh, turns out. It, it, it is a little complicated sh shape because we have a lot of uh, bouncing yeah. light from, yeah, yeah, exactly, from one to another. And, and, but we will manage it. So now, now I have like a very basic construction. And this is a good point. So what I've done is just sample the, the initial color. I, I went brighter. I went uh, less saturated and warmer okay. in color. So it's going to be like a, a brownish, yellowish crystal? That's the color um, you're going for? I, uh, currently, yeah, yeah, but uh, I have a surprise <laughs> because um, we can we can treat that in in three. Right now, we have we still have that two that separation of two dimensional uh, form. We we still don't have that form. Once we add the third face of the shape. Then we will have uh, 3D form. For example, let's just make it the simple. Right now we have these for the lights and this for the shadow. Uh, this for the only that for the light and this for the shadow. Like this is all just 2D. Now I'm working on this layer. If it's not clear, now this this face. Mm -hmm. Now I'm adding that face. So, in order to add that face, now I'm sampling what I already have, and now I'm going warmer, darker, and I'm sorry, cooler, darker, and less and more saturated. Mm -hmm. So, it will be cooler from from the warm direction because it's a very warm color in in its um, 
initial the material itself so I can have that. Oh wow yeah it's super saturated. Yeah. Uh, I decided I'll, I'll try to replicate what you're doing. Yeah. With a little bit different colors and try to like learn and do it each step as I see you like doing it. Uh, awesome. Okay, now I'm, I'm looking, taking a rest, and we are working with reference. We want to make it as, as natural as it can be. So, what I will do, I'll just open that image. Okay, so now I'll just take all of this and crop it. Okay. Okay, now I, I will leave the layer because it's your layer. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, interesting enough, we can see that, um, first of all, we cannot judge by the lighting of our reference, but what we can see is um, the variety in, in, in values and, and in hue that we have in the crystals, those shapes that created, um, we can c sort of close our eyes almost, so we can see the biggest, the, the like we can uh, separate the values from one to another, we can see more darker shapes, lighter shapes, before we draw any textures and it's very interesting crystal I think it suits the best and you can tell that the very the, the, the parts that catches light almost reflect the light um, a hundred percent it's it's that bright it's that reflected so it will be a great idea to indicate all the faces that turns up a bit of into our crystals. Yeah. I'm looking for a more solid, yeah. Brush? Yeah, because I, I want to paint. Um, I want to paint rough. By the way, I just learned something new. You see that we have above our profit, our brush settings, we have a plus one, plus two, until plus six. Yeah, you can save brushes, right? Presets. Yeah, yeah. so um, now it's a good time to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. Yeah, it's one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Yeah. So, if it's your first crystal, so I, I suggest that you really take the time and do it slow, but do it correct. I think it's much more important to rush into just drawing as many crystals as you can 
unlike when you do sketches of characters, you would like to very uh, enrich your your vocabulary and your visual library. This time, when you learn something new or you try it, you better do it slow and build confidence as as you go, because you don't want to break the believability when it's it's. Um, uh, it's game time and you're drawing something for uh, uh, concept art, a game art, something that you do for a client um, or for yourself that you're willing to present. You don't want to break believability and make those mistakes. So it's practice time. And I think so for the first time, let's do it slow, steady and, and learn it as, as we can. As yeah. much as we can. Yeah, I, I realized that uh, that I needed to start all over. So I have a simple sketch. I will try to add some colors. I actually take your color and see where it takes me. And if I want to try and maybe make it more yellowy, what could happen? Okay. By the way. Yep. Uh, is something interesting that happens. Um, what this color looks to you, this color? Ah, it looks wet. Uh, um, which color family? Like what? Uh, it looks greenish, green. Exactly, and and it, you'll be surprised that it's um, like. You'll be surprised it's an orange. It's just in relation, if you sample that color, you see that it is an orange. But it's a very almost desaturated and dark. But in relation to what I have here, it looks green. And that is how you build. This is actually a very important lesson here because this is uh, color notes. This is how you build uh, families of, of hues and colors uh, in the same on the same spectrum without bouncing into a, a really green color because this is green. This is green and this is yellow. And one next to another, this looks almost brown. But here inside, this looks green. So the, that's the magic. It's compared to the layer that you have, with, like to the colors of the crystal, also, right? Yeah. That's really cool. Good job, Moli. <laughs> I, 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 this is what we hear. I'm, I'm surprised because usually I get those kind of illusions of um, colors, but usually when I play in the more gray area, you get know I me? Mean? Like I, I never knew that I could have so much saturation in the color, and it still like look different compared to what's around him. Like it looks yeah, cool. it's, it's awesome. It's fascinating every time. Yeah, color is a very green. something that's magnificent. The magic of painting and understanding colors. Okay. <laughs> Our next uh, course. The magic of colors. Uh, maybe this will be the name of the of the episode. <laughs> of the what? Of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a catchy. That's a really good title, actually. Yeah. Maybe I can also like um, <laughs> record myself saying it. Yeah. Only creating magic on magma. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see how you can destroy Superman with crystals. <laughs> <laughs>
if I really have to, I can I can really desaturate it, that yellow and go cooler into the greens, and then I will have a more natural, as you said before that you go from a very saturated warm color through the through grays you travel and then you get to a cooler color um, so yeah when you start when you start in a very in, in one extreme you and you want to go to another extreme uh, going through the grays is a is a really great great idea And here also the crystal, you've talked, you've talked about uh, it's uh, how you react to light and it kind of like uh, uh, store light in it. So the color is yeah. really saturated. This is what I understand yeah. from watching you drawing it. Yeah, um, another, the, the third property is actually the translucency is is what you said how it um, captures the, the the light in it uh, just like something that is almost clear like a very a thin diamond that you can see through something like that um, a, a piece of glass a broken glass that we can see so it has translucency that uh, light comes in into a material and then the light rays itself it refracts so so it bounces off a lot uh, also metals in some in some areas this effect al also ha happens but what happens is we have to make it in a bigger example something like that that has that blue, uh, blue pearl, for example, and light comes from above, it comes from somewhere, mm -hmm. and so one thing that we have the highlight that is depends on where we're depends on where we are in position to the light source. So this will move with us, and another thing that will happen is the effect of the light coming in inside the absorption. It will make an aura, like it will make it will make the material itself glow, yeah, from inside out. So we can have that effect inside. So that is the effect of the translucency mm. and the reflection and the refraction not the reflection but the refraction um, inside and this and depending on the density of the material itself like if it have a lot of breaks like we have here um, unlike here so we we will have uh, darker areas next to a very bright areas like you, you will you will have a very difficult time to understand to identify the logic between stuff but this could happen just like in the crystal that we have here uh, in the reference so uh, it's a cool effect um, we won't dive in too much deep deep in in this uh, area but maybe next time okay so if i got it right the translucency will be like also on the lines right like it would be somewhere also like inside the crystal yeah but not not in that um in my in my reference i i see that it's try to produce so uh in a more painterly conversation what will happen is that it will increase the saturation and the brightness together 
in simple words. Mm -hmm. Crystals, <laughs> crystals. <laughs> Wow, I like what we have, what you have, Josh. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Moody. But you've been doing, and I was concentrated on, on making what I was making, and then I just looked at what you have, and it's... Oh! It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh. How Look how me it. and Josh are, are painting. Oh! <laughs> Uh, I think I can use all these sound effects to create like our intro. Now I think I'll be using also all the drawings that we're making to make an intro with the thing we've been creating till now. And uh, yeah, maybe the sound effects too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mooly and Josh, draw and talk. <laughs> Josh, is, is it your uh, brush here? This one? Can you try and erase it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Sabotaging my painting. <laughs> no, I'm trying better than moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know, I, I, I actually sampled your color right now. You, you caught me. It's like. I was trying to sample a color and you just that th this one and <laughs> <laughs> it's my color. <laughs> I'm going to steal all your colors. I want to use those <laughs> those greenish greenish orange that that you created. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it looks like a, a three-year-old <laughs> crystal. It's my first crystal. <laughs> mm -hmm. At this point, I'd be just copying your colors and trying to make it sense with the shapes that I have. 
Good. I, I don't recommend you um, sampling my my because I'm still figuring out a lot of stuff. So yeah. So um, you might copy my mistakes <laughs> <laughs> or my early stages. That's awesome. I do all the stages with you like that now. I, cool. Yeah, I'm totally new to crystals. It's a really first time for me, and uh, I like it. Yeah, it's, it's it's fascinating. Yeah, it's really complex in the in how it acts. Isn't it fun to draw, to paint with a hard brush? Yeah, it's like you're making decisions and it's, yeah. it's alright. <laughs> and you don't have to be so, rep so much repetitive going over and over. Yeah, to find the color. It's way more like sculpting. Yeah. What a fun practice! I I I'm glad that you you pushed me to to come up with that. Like we could easily do something else, <laughs> like uh, I don't know, a caricature. You're great. Yeah, I, I I'm already looking forward to our next uh, meeting. It's, it's awesome, yeah, and it's cool that we, each time we like, go for a different, different subject. Uh, we do whatever we want to do, what, whatever it interests us. And, uh, and I love that you, you bring, yeah, you brought this idea of, of crystals. Of course, I, I was like, let's do this. <laughs> and then I met crystals and a great opportunity for me to learn. Cool.
<laughs> I decided to try and make it look like a character or like a mask. Yeah, it looks like an Indian uh, uh, African mask. <laughs> Today I was working on uh, a project for a client. I did a character from home, and later on, actually today is an exciting day because I uh, my car is is alive. Really? <laughs> yeah. <Not> I, <laughs> <laughs> I thank you. I I have changed a whole motor. I have a whole new engine in my car. Really? Like you created a new transformer. <laughs> yeah. So now I can travel again. Wow! It's been a while. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's pretty good news. So that's the mostly what I have uh, Next dealing time. with. <laughs> <laughs> in, in my car. <laughs> <laughs> You're great in your car. How can we do a live outside? Like we're drawing. Drawing outside? Mm -hmm. Maybe with yeah. our phones? Maybe. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. We're, we're both, I don't know, I, I can tell about myself that I'm really tired from this week. It was really interesting, a lot of new uh, things have been happening. And uh, that's why maybe now I'm just relaxing and taking my time. I think it's awesome that we feel like uh, this comfortable to hang out together and draw. And uh, Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm really enjoying, and and I think this is like the 
the backbone of why why we are doing this. Um, we are inviting people in, like it's 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 that that easy. We are live. That's your opportunity to go live with us, uh, learn together, paint together, uh, make new friends. Yeah, I think it, it would be awesome if, if uh, we can, we, we could actually easily like share the link of the magma and have some viewers or person like interacting with us also inside, drawing alongside and maybe showing us your drawings and we can be talking about maybe other per the person's drawing. Yeah, but but in order for that happen, uh, you guys have to follow. Like you have to follow us uh, and and be the first to know uh, when it happens, so you won't miss the, those sessions. Uh, it, it could be our little se secret. If you're a student in art school. Um, if you're just an amateur who wants to be uh, work in that field or just to paint for himself so that that's your opportunity uh, yeah I, I, I love like hearing podcast podcasters I, when I was drawing what well, usually when I draw by myself now you know I, I'm drawing with a lot here in the studio and, and so I yeah. do it way less but when I was single, I used to listen to podcasts and to try and learn more about uh, other people's work and to hear other person's uh, processes of how they do things, how they got to the point that they, they got. And uh, I've done so many courses and stuff like that just to, to understand more and, and be more rich. But it, there's nothing like sitting down and drawing together and figuring stuff out together and talking about it and um, yeah this is what I think we are inviting people to do to join in and draw if you don't want to draw crystals today you can draw whatever you want to draw but you can also ask us questions and and just like hearing us and hanging out and drawing uh, you can like feel like you're with us uh, Yes. This, this is a great, great, great passion to share together. I hope we will, we will like soon or maybe not, not soon. I, I, I don't. I, I, I try to reduce the expectations, but I wish, I actually wish that that um, we had like a small community or maybe a bigger community that we could help uh, a couple of individuals like to 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 grow and and. Or just hang out with them and encourage them to, to continue the and do what what they do or what, what they like to do. And yeah. Totally. Wow, I love these colors that you're adding right now. Yeah, you caught me. Now I am I'm trying to add a secondary light, like if it's a very let's I imagine this crystal is now outside outdoors and I'm trying to add that secondary light so I'm carefully trying to add a cooler color because this crystal is very dense and very warm in color then adding a, a cooler secondary light will be a, a little difficulty I cannot go to the blues right away I have to travel through the reds the purples the magentas in order to uh, capture something that is believable. Okay. So I'm desaturate. I'm I'm deciding on a color. <coughs> I'm sorry, and, I, and I'm desaturating it. And this give me that that look. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> I am having a hard time uh, keeping up today. <laughs> what? I think I, I uh, exaggerated with trying to do a mask with the material that I never done before. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's cute, but he doesn't look like Crystal at all. <laughs> uh, you talking about this one? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> it's a character. It's it's uh, the transformer of this one. Like this. This is how you found it, and this is the mask you crafted. <laughs> Yeah, we'll call it a, a raw shape uh, and uh, in a refined. This is a refined. <laughs> Curved by aliens. <laughs> we pretend to be painters. <laughs> understand how you got to this crispy looking crystal <laughs> uh, you heard it you heard it folks this is what a serious uh, uh, painter who wants to do something with himself <laughs> does <laughs> it's your call but don't don't study me. I mean, really, don't study me. You have to study uh, masters. How are they? Um, how they did it? It will be very more informative. Um, I can I can teach. I I do teach students, but when it comes to learn something from ground up, I always give an example of other master masters and not only myself. I give some examples that I think that are real success, successful uh, from my own projects, but uh, on in the top of the list, it's the, the dead masters. Or maybe uh, James Gordon. I think we'll wrap it up because it's been an hour now. Yeah, you've done, well, I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. I've, you've done an amazing job. I'm just zooming in on what you're, you've been doing. Your crystals look amazing. And uh, <laughs> wow, good job, good job, Oli. Wow, we 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 did a great job. We did a great job. I like it when you take it and you express it even further. We have a mask here, and we have the raw shape. A uh, uh, great implementation uh, with th those sampling. Uh, nice, nice. <laughs> it's going somewhere. Yeah, I think if I figure it out, maybe this mask could look actually really cool. But I just need to understand better how crystals work. Thank you so much, Moni, for today. Uh, Love you, guys. Can't wait to see you next week and see what, what we're going to do. What yeah, I had a blast. I had a blast. Me too, brother. It was really great. Thank you. Great night, bro. Bye. 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 See you.